Well, hello everyone. Happy rainy Super Bowl Sunday, at least for me. Hope you guys all have uh, great plans this afternoon to hang out with friends, watch the game, or the commercials. I prefer the commercials because <clears throat> I don't have any uh, favorite NFL team, really. I mean, I could pull for the Titans, I guess, but whatever. Let me start off with an apology. I'm sorry. Yesterday, I did not have time to make a video, but I did make sure I cleared everything out. I got two new Archie facts. So, we know that uh, Archie's fungal cap is extremely dange. And the green light emitted from the cracks in Archie's underbelly. I didn't even notice those. You can kind of see them there. Uh, is the result of a complex chemical reaction taking place within the creature. And then the winged morphopods that flock to the Archie's glowing eyes are attracted by the creature's powerful aura, which is caused by the electroma. Cool. So I guess if you look deep in there, you can see some of that. So yeah, I got both of those yesterday while we were fin while I was uh, still building one of these. Two of the others came through, so we have five scanners and four labs now. And let's see how we got going here. I'm still building towards that 14 million to upgrade. But let's see. Oh, all right. We have almost effectively doubled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so no alluvials. So let's go through and see what we got here. One. To who? Three. My old people will know what that means. All right, and one more right up here. Boom. Anything? So nothing today. Sorry, you missed. I didn't have a video for you yesterday with me finding those two facts. But uh, so, all right, so guys, what do you think? Uh, what what else do we need to uh, check? Uh, I mean, our efficiency numbers seem to be uh, pretty good. As far as I know, the max efficiency is 150%. Uh, I'm just going to start collecting all these while we're talking here. Uh, so 150% seems to be the top. We got something yeah, a little closer so we don't waste all of those. Um, Obviously, next time we'll be doing maybe a little different city layout. Perhaps I'd like to keep this area a little clear so that I can put more scanners up here. I am desperately hoping that they, uh, well, I'm hoping for two things. It, one, they release more land so I can get that fourth piece that I need. Or two, the two individuals that hold the tier ones right below me would reach out in the Discord and I can buy their lands. So that's the two things I'm hoping for as far as land goes, because I I can only imagine, and, and some people have commented here and in the forums, that the, uh, uh, you can see, let me move this out of the way, the uh, mega cities <clears throat> make a huge difference. Imagine having a plot of land that you did not have to fill up with a nexus and the quantum fabric. You only need one and in the engineering workshop. You only need you only need one. So if you've got a whole mega city, you can use all of that land for either resources or fuel or labs and scanners. So let's say it's a tier one. It doesn't have a lot of resources and a lot of fuel. You could fill it up. So that's uh, one of those two things I would love to happen. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that was Daniel telling me you've got to get the Mega City. You can have a massive portion of land just for scanners and still be pumping your resources. Uh, there, there seems to be a lot of people that, that believe the, uh, the Tier 2s are really the best bang for your buck land. We'll see. I'm 
not at all displeased with my tier three and the way it's going to play out. Um, that being said, I understand it is also quite a bit more expensive. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. I believe this is what I needed. Let's see, that's a eight. Yep, we got to upgrade this next to get that up to. It's going to take sixteen hours. I only have eight tokens, so that's not going to be enough to instantly do it. I do have all of my stuff set up here. We'll upgrade that. Um. You know, I kind of feel like we're in a little stagnant spot right here. Um, somebody did ask me, where'd it go? Ah, let me click over here so that's not zooming in. Hmm. I've lost the comment. Let me refresh that. So check this out. While I'm waiting on that to come up, this is my new mouse. So inst instead of being a regular mouse like this, it's just like this. It's a whole lot easier on my wrist. Because I'm getting old. Um, hmm. I don't see the comment here. Maybe it was on the Discord. So never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. But that's all I've got for you today, guys. Got the two new blueprints from yesterday. We now have five scanners and four labs working, so I could theoretically knock out, I could put a bunch more labs up in here. I am running out of locations to get a decent percentage on scanners, which means I'm going to have to pay a lot more attention to uh, where I place things. But knowing that going forward, I mean, I could always go here and reset the land but I obviously don't want to do that but let's just imagine that I've got a mega city and these plots are all tied together so I only need one nexus I only need one of these huge buildings <clears throat> I can take my piece of land that has the uh, uh, probably the level three because that's gonna need the most mines either for resources or for fuel, and have that host the Nexus, and and host as many things as I can, but, you know, let's imagine this tier one here, I don't have to build a Nexus or a workshop or anything else, so conceivably, I could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Or just, let's see. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine over there. Okay, so yeah, nine mines. That's it for the fuel and the resources. If if I wanted to, everything else could be scanners. Um, because scanners are the only things that thus far seem to react to being close to other buildings. Uh, so I could put the um, the labs can be on anything because in fact I'd probably want them close to the power plants on the tier three. But if I were able to, oh, that just popped up, did y'all see that? If I were able to do that to where this could just be scanners, I mean, I could probably get, I don't know, 10 to 15, 100% scanners and maybe some 90 percenters in here. Can you imagine 10 to 15 scanners on one plot of land working every day? Be finding some uh, blueprints, I think. So we'll see, but that's, um, I don't know. We'll just have to see. We'll get, uh, we'll get a deep dive into this next, uh, oops, let me get those. Oh, I see. Next, uh, reset, we'll get into a deep dive there. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got on the alluvial front today, alluvium zero front today. The alluvials. I'm sorry, the Illuvatars will be dropping on March the 7th. So those are, um, you know, kind of PFP style NFTs that will also have some other utilities that I'm not 100% clear on. But yeah, we'll see.
Guys, gals, that's all I've got for you today. Um, jump over in the Alpha Origins Discord for our one-year anniversary game night this coming Wednesday. Plug that again because we got a got a pretty good event coming. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the Super Bowl or the commercials. Hang out with your friends, eat some junk food. It's okay, just this one day. But in case nobody's told you, God loves you. I'll talk to you later. And uh, we'll do my best not to be skipping days where I get stuff so you guys can see it.